watching the last part two of Fuller House. In the last two episodes, for the saddest episodes ever, makes you cry because you know it's over forever. And you get to see a lot of old people that you haven't seen. And I still believe that Aunt Becky should have been a part of this. But hey, we get a Josh Peck. This video my grandma made is so, oh, she didn't make it, but she bought it. It's so funny, and it's even a Hallmark's card. And it's my grandma and my dad, dad's side of the family. It says, good news, there's a tasty way to enjoy whole grain and leafy greens. And you open it up like this. It says, feed them to a cow, and they'll turn into a delicious, satisfying steak. Let's see, watch. You close it like this, and then you open it, and look what it's doing. Yeah, get it? It's funny. Anyway, there's some more happy birthdays he got from people he doesn't even know. Like, people from his work give him cards and stuff. Wish people from my work did that, because then I'd feel important. But, anyways. The point of this video is to give you a Fuller House review. I probably did videos or clips here and there talking about the show and stuff. And I love how they they have five seasons, which is nice, but it could have it should have went longer. Um, I can't wait for the DVD to season five to come out because I would definitely get that. Um, the show was awesome. Season 5 was a lot of jaw-dropping, like, oh my god, I can't believe that happened moments. Especially when they played the newlywed game again. And they played it again and the guys upsetted their fiancé so they tried to make it up. And Fernando dresses up. Now, if you haven't seen this ep the season, because, you know, it just came out June 2nd. Um, there will be spoilers in this, because I want to get my full review. So, if you haven't seen any of it, don't watch this video. But if you don't care about spoilers, and you want to know what's coming up, watch. Anyways... Fernando dresses up like Kimmy and acts like Kimmy and it's the uh, most hilarious thing on the planet. Max not being Max, that was hilarious. Um, uh, what's his name? Oh, what's Stephanie's boyfriend's name? The brother of Kimmy Gum. I forgot his name. Anyways, he dresses up like Stephanie from the telethon they had on Wake Up San Francisco and where she was dancing to Love Shack and she looks over at him and goes uh uh I'm not doing that dance that was pretty hilarious it was funny and just cracks me up and I love how they made a joke cause you know, fans on the internet keep asking about, is Ashley Olsen and Mary Kay Olsen going to be on that show? Which I think, and I've said this for years, they're selfish as motherfucking bitches. Yeah, I am used to be fans of theirs, not anymore. I mean, I still love their movies, don't get me wrong. But you wouldn't have the fame you have today if it wasn't for being on Full House. And this is the way you thank your fans for making you this, and the show for making you this. You couldn't make it to one appearance. You couldn't make it to the wedding. Like, come on. That's a little bullshit. And they made jokes. You know. About that by saying, she's never coming. And looking at the camera, which I think was cool. Kind of like what they did in the first season, first episode, when they made a lot of those jokes. And it was kind of weird. I thought it was kind of weird that all 
of a sudden, Kimmy and Stephanie were moving out. But what happened to Stephanie saying, I can't get pregnant, I can never have a baby, to, I'm pregnant, I'm going to live here, because I need your help. Like, seriously, you think we're going to forget writers? But what confused me is the episode where they try to remember where Stephanie can't remember her mom because her mom died when she was five years old. And she got emotional about, I can't wear mom's veil if I don't remember. And mom's veil is about yay big. But yet when you see the wedding, the veil is like bigger than that. And then DJ said that she was going to wear her mom's brooch to be close to mom. But yet at the wedding, we saw no brooch. You can't write this stuff in and then change your mind at the last minute. You can't. And then Kimmy's like, I want your mom to, to be part of the wedding. I'm going to wear your mom's necklace. But yet she wore a necklace that matched her uh, tiara. I doubt that was her mom's, ne you know, their mom's necklace. That's what I don't understand. Why did you write it into the story of them saying they want to use a piece of their mom and then not have them wear a piece of their mom on the actual day? That I just do not understand. But it was cool to see Popco, Isaac Presley. It was good to see him. I've been watching his YouTube channel lately. And I'm just glad he was at the wedding at the very end. But it was really cool to see... Isn't his name Stuart? Michelle's best friend? He actually came and was doing his little song and did his little Yankee Doodle. And he still killed it, of course. And... That was pretty cool. Gia was there, of course. Vicky. Vicky Larson. She was there, still looking the same. I just cannot believe it. I am still can't believe that Danny never married her way back when. He should have because they would have been really good together. And their hearts to hearts, that was really cool sad to see it made me cry the last two episodes made me cry more than anything during that season during part two seasons and the she-wolf all that just amazing you should watch the show on netflix talk to y'all later later haters Go, go, Power Ranger, they got a power and a force that you've never seen before. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, no, go, go, no, Power Rangers. No, no one, never take them down, the power is on their side.